Hello everybody, my name is Ox in today's video. We're going to be going back and checking out some of the bugs that I had left in previous videos. Um, I had originally intended to do this actually uh, for the last video for this series. Um, however, uh, because there's not so much left um, and I don't expect for there to be any bugs moving forward, you know, and every, anything going forward should be able to, you know, be easily uh, implemented. I decided now would be a good time to go back and fix a couple of the bugs that, uh, that I had left in the previous videos and fix them in the, uh, in the template project. Um, a couple of the ones I definitely want to look at are the uh, gun, um, at, since it had a few little quirks to it, um, especially when you went to use the dual handed, um, sometimes it would flip upside down, um, so I definitely do want to go back and give that a quick fix. Um, the second issue, um, which I consider less of an issue and more of just uh, requiring a little bit of tweaking, uh, was with the movement. Um, since uh, it it wasn't quite right, it, w it did a lot of jumping up and down since the uh, since it moved up at a faster rate than it went down. So um, we'll go ahead and have a quick look at that as well. Um, uh, I'm also going to uh, have a look at that and see if there is a uh, a better implementation of that. Um, as I believe I've actually found a better way of uh, implementing the uh, the movement part of that. It, it will mostly remain the same, but we'll do a little bit of tweaking. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go and do that. Before we go and jump to the video though, um, if you want to check out the full project, uh, the GitHub repo will be in the link below um, in the description. Also, uh, if you have like any questions or anything or uh, comments about the videos or anything, I actually started a Discord server. Um, I'd like to encourage you guys to come join. Um, you know, if you guys see better uh, implementations of what I do, um, I'd certainly love to hear them. Um, you know, any questions, you know, anything like that. I encourage you guys to come check out the Discord server and uh, yeah, uh, hope to see you there. Um, and without further ado, let's go and jump right into the video. All right, so here we are. Um, I've gone ahead and uh, opened up the whole project and everything. Um, I've also gone ahead and opened up the motion control pawn and gun since we'll be looking at both of these in order to uh, fix the couple of bugs uh, that we that have occurred in the project. Um, so we're gonna actually start with the movement um, in which we'll go into the motion control pawn for. Now, um, looking at this, for the most part, it's actually pretty good. Um, you know, a lot of this can honestly stay the way it is. Um, all of this can also stay the same. Um, you know, if you want to manipulate all this to uh, add in a slope or anything like that, then that will also work as well. Or, I'm sorry, if, if you have like a slope in your scene, then all of this should still work as well. Um, so we're actually going to leave all of this as is. What I want to focus on is actually down here um, in the event tick. This is actually what's causing that huge jump that uh, we were seeing before in the uh, when I originally set this up. Um, and there's actually a couple ways to actually go about fixing this. One would just be to uh, change this um, so that way this that value is uh, about the same as the Z values right here. Uh, which would certainly work and it would work pretty well in a flat environment. However, it might not work so well on a slope um, Since it might still do some jumping up and down So what I'd like to do is I'm actually going to go and take all this I'm going to get rid of this and What I want to do is I actually want to move it a specific distance um, the distance I want to move it is going to be um using our impact point, so if we actually unbreak this real quick, and we're actually going to want to take this Z and subtract that by our current actor's location. Yeah, actor location, there we go. Uh, let me go and split this struct pin. So if we actually take this Z, so this will actually get a, give us the distance between wherever we hit, which should presumably be the floor, and the player itself, which will mean that we'll move a specific distance um, every tick, uh, and it should remove a lot of that jumping that we were having before. Um, now in order to actually assign this, um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set world location, so I'm actually going to copy this real quick. Let's go and take this, 
And I'm gonna take this, and we're going to want to, we're still gonna keep the is valid here, because we wanna make sure we are actually hitting something, and we're not just slowly sinking into, into the world. Um, so we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna take this, feed that into the Z, and then I'm not going to uh, use get world location. I'm actually gonna, just going to use get actor location and feed those X and Y values in. Uh, let me try and make this look a little bit nicer here. And there we go. So that should be all good there. Um, that should fix uh, our whole issue with the movement. All right, so with that, that should fix all the movement that we were having, uh, all, all the movement jumping that was happening before. Um, and of course, we'll go ahead and give this a test uh, at the end of the video. Um, but that should get our movement all fixed up and all of that kind of stuff. All right, so with all this out of the way, um, at this point, all, all we have to do is go about fixing the gun. Um, so you can actually see I already have it open right over here. Um, so we're actually going to go and start with the release. So the reason we're actually starting with the release is um, one bug one bug that happened with the gun was when you released it with your secondary offhand um, you actually had an issue where for some reason it just uh, snapped to, posi to position and stopped moving. Um, now, I'll be entirely honest, I still don't fully understand why this is happening. Um, I have found, I've tested quite a bit and I find nothing saying that it's attaching to the second hand. Um, but, it's act, but the way it's acting, it certainly seems to imply that it is. So in order to fix this, what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna disconnect this real quick. And we're gonna create a, another pin, feed that into that. Um, and what we want to do before we set the relative location is we're going to attach it to the first hand hand mesh. There it is. Um, so we'll use this to attach to the hand mesh before doing anything else. Um, and this will prevent uh, this will prevent from uh, from snapping back to that weird position as though it's attached to nothing. Um, and we do also want to set the location rule to, to snap to target and the rotation rule to snap to target. Quite frankly, the rotation rule doesn't really make much of a difference um, since we're setting it regardless, so it's going to be reset anyways. Um, location is the main thing you have to worry about in scale. We want to keep relative just so it doesn't resize. So that is a simple fix. All right, so next thing we have to fix is over here um, fixing the... Uh, the way that the gun tilts and moves around and all this kind of stuff. So this is actually um, not too bad of a uh, fix uh, as well. It's more just you have to figure out uh, how to connect the nodes correctly. Um, I found that it was a little bit messy when I was messing around with it. Um, so to start out, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab this and if I recall we're actually going to want to uh, reduce this by 90. This is actually going to go into our pitch value. Um, and this will actually control uh, when we have the gun, it will actually uh, determine how it tilts. And the reason I'm using only one hand is that there's really no way to easily um, predict where the gun should be rotated to using both hands because uh, chances are they're always going to be slightly off at least. And I'm assuming some players also just leave one hand um, aim straight and then the other one they tilt. Um, so this just kind of makes things a little bit easier. Um, so that will fix that. Um, this can be left alone. But what we're going to want to do is we will want to quickly make a rotator. Um, now you don't have to do this. You could just set up another look rotation. However, we need a rotator real quick. Um, and then we're actually going to need to inverse this. Inverse, oh, invert rotator, my bad. Uh, invert rotator. And then the Y value here is what's gonna be fed to the X. This will actually, um, this will actually show how the gun is aimed up um, based off of the position of the hands. Uh, and the reason we're actually inverting this is I found uh, when I was testing around with this, um, if you leave it non-inverted, um, it actually, when you go up, it, it'll go down, and if you go down, it'll go up. So by inverting the rotator, it will actually make it so that way it actually functions correctly. So with all that out of the way, we can actually do a quick test here. Um, so let me go ahead, throw this on real quick. 
Oh, come on. There we go. So if we go ahead and jump right over here, um, you can actually see the gun works fine. You can also see the movement works fine too. I, I almost forgot about that. Uh, you can see the movements all working fine. The gun is now working just fine. You can see you can move it around. We can fire it. I don't know how clear that's showing up on screen. Uh, it's not showing up too well on my headset, but I can see it well enough to see it's working. Um, so you can see it's working. And if I release with my left hand, you can see it now snaps back to my right hand and it works just fine again. And then of course I can go back and grab it again. All that fun stuff. So those are all the bugs that, that uh, need to be fixed for this. And of course we can still drop it. Uh, so those are all the bugs that need to be fixed for this. Um, uh, all the more critical ones for this. Um, so yeah. Alright, so with all that, that is all the... Uh, the major bugs fixed for the uh, for the VR shooter template, you know, fixed up the gun, fixed up the uh, movement, which were two of the more uh, major bugs that I, you know, of course encountered often. Um, you know, if there are any other bugs that I encounter in the future, I'll probably end up fixing them, you know, off camera or something. Um, but to be honest, any others that I've encountered, I've encountered once or twice and just weren't, you know, very critical. Um, so yeah, um, with that, that is it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, then go ahead and hit that subscribe. Uh, it will help out a ton. There's also a like button down below, um, would also help out a ton. Um, and you know, if, if you want to check out any of my other videos, there sh should be a couple over here that, uh, YouTube will recommend to you. And, uh, with that, that is the end of the video. So, see ya.